Hi, it's Mayor Sandy Brown of the town of Orangeville, and this is a COVID-19 update for Friday, May 15, 2020. Yesterday, Premier Ford announced Ontario's first stage of reopening, which will begin on Tuesday. This is very good news for the overall economy, our community, and the general mental health and well-being of everyone. The first stage includes retail services that are not in shopping malls and have separate street front entrances. They will need to have measures in place for physical distancing and limits on the number of customers. Pet grooming and regular veterinary appointments are allowed. Motor vehicle dealerships will be open. All construction sites and diagnostic tests and scheduled surgeries. This also includes outdoor sports fields, tennis courts and off-leash dog parks. Golf courses, marinas and private parks and campgrounds will also be allowed to open on Saturday. Businesses that board animals, such as stables, can also open on Saturday. On Monday, the legislature extended the provincial emergency until June the 2nd. This means current limit on social gatherings of more than five people remains in place. Town facilities such as the playgrounds, the skateboard park and the BMX park also remain closed until June the 2nd. We know many families dearly miss those amenities, but these closures are needed to prevent coronavirus spread in our community. The Premier stressed that for Phase 1 to be a success, businesses need to be ready to follow sector-specific rules before reopening. And everyone will need to continue to be vigilant and phys with physical distancing. The province is also asking the public to wear masks or face coverings while out in any circumstance where physical distancing is not possible. As part of the reopening plan, the Minister of Health announced a modification of the testing criteria. Wellington Dufferin Guelph Public Health is urging people to get assessed if they're experiencing any one symptom such as fever, difficulty breathing, chills, or a new cough. A full list of recognized coronavirus symptoms is on their website. The Headwaters Assessment Center is open daily from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with the last patient being seen at 4.30. It looks like we're finally going to get some warm spring weather for Victoria Day weekend. I know many of you are eager to get outside to exercise and enjoy some fresh air. Town walking trails have been open over the past eight weeks. This week saw several announcements that will give you more access to community trails. The Bruce Trail and the Mono Cliffs Provincial Park are now open to the public for walking, hiking, biking, and bird watching. Public washrooms, however, are not available at this time, so please plan your trip accordingly. The County of Dufferin is planning to reopen the Dufferin County Forest and Rail Trail on Tuesday, May the 9th at noon. Island Conservation Area is also open. The 4th Street entrance will remain closed as Home Hardware parking lot is no longer available. Home Hardware has been and continues to be a wonderful supporter of Island Lake, however, the current business climate does not allow them to offer their parking lot. Please maintain physical distancing while enjoying the trails and step off the trail if you are concerned about physical distancing. Pets should also always be on leash. To keep in line with current guidance on physical distancing and the size of gatherings, on Monday, Council made the difficult decision to cancel large public events, including this year's Canada Day celebration. Residents will be able to join in virtual Canada Day celebrations being held across the country this year. The town is working on plans to invite public participation by illuminating the town in a red hue on Canada Day. Additional events cancelled by the town or community organizations include the Optimist Club Bike Rodeo, the Abilities Resource Fair, the Lions Walk for Dog Guides, which possibly will be rescheduled in September, the Barry Berman Lacrosse Shootout, Celebrate Your Awesome, and the Rotary Rib Fest. Two events, the Orangeville Blues and Jazz Festival and National Indigenous Peoples Day, have been postponed to the fall for now. I know that many of you will miss our summer weekend festivals. However, we need to take this action as we cannot have large gatherings in our community for the foreseeable future. Many municipalities are making similar decisions as no one wants to take the chance of prolonging, prolonging the outbreak or starting a second wave. The Orangeville Farmers Market is classified as an essential business as they provide fresh food and produce for the community and support local farmers. The town is working with the BIA to open the market with a new e-commerce business model. Customers will place orders and make payments online and then schedule a pickup on Saturday mornings. 
either as a drive-by or on-foot curbside collection. We hope to launch the market on Saturday, May the 23rd, and we'll have a link to pre-order available next week. For those who would like to grow their own vegetables this year, the Orangeville Seed Library, usually available at the Mill Street Library, is reopening with a new porch pickup model. Seeds will be available at 38 McCarthy Street, which is behind the Tony Rose Memorial Sports Centre. The Seed Library will be available from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days a week, beginning on Saturday, May 16th. Please observe physical distancing guidelines and park on the street. We recognize that everyone wants to put the virus behind us, but it is still present in Ontario. We need to continue to take the necessary precautions to prevent its spread. We do not want to have to step back from the reopening that was announced this week. For the first long weekend of the summer, both our hospital and public health are urging everyone to continue to stay home as much as possible. Practice physical distancing when you go outside and wash your hands frequently. Please do not host a barbecue with friends. Please celebrate with your immediate family. Fireworks are permitted on Victoria Day on personal property only. Do not set them off in parks, roadways, or sidewalks, and keep your children well away. You should have water on hand, a garden hose, and a bucket of water to soak fireworks after they have fired. I hope everyone enjoys the Victoria Day weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.